Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Contributing Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. If you deal with Word documents, especially versions of the same with slight variations, you probably know and have used the feature called Compare in Microsoft Word. This feature lets you compare two seemingly identical documents, then identify the differences in the two, so you can see what has been changed. Well, recently I had a chance to see a software product that works just like that but on 3D CAD files. It's from Kubotech, the company that brings you Key Creator, and it's called Validation 2. Now, I haven't had a chance to install and use the product myself, but I'd like to share with you what I saw during the demonstration. Here, we're looking at two versions of a design saved in iGIS format. What we're doing now is to use a dialog box in the software to define our tolerance for difference now that sounds a little bit like a humanitarian mission, doesn't it? Well, by that, we mean we're telling the software the difference is not a big deal and it's acceptable to us if it is below a certain threshold. It's fairly straightforward after that. When you compare the two, you get a report indicating there's no difference that rises above the threshold we have specified. And that's what the green light is telling you. But if you'll drill down, you see that there are, in fact, small deviations. Sometimes these are just part of the inevitable effects of file conversion from one format to another, or the result of working in two different versions of the same software using a slightly different versions of the modeling engine. But they don't amount to anything alarming, as we have previously defined, so the comparison comes back as pass. The text report that is generated automatically from this comparison session has an encrypted text in it. That's to protect the privacy and the security of this document. So that way, if anyone changes something on this text document or tamper with it, we can tell it's no longer an authentic report because the encryption would have been broken. And for the output option for the report, you can specify whether you want the report in HTML or PDF or text. Now let's take a look at two other files, this one to compare faces as opposed to the way we compared the geometry in the previous session. Now this one returned as failed, so let me show you what the differences are that the software has just detected. For a more thorough interrogation, you might organize the differences in the report by geometric groups or by zooming into the precise area where each difference is located. You can also get numeric values of the features that is in question. Now if you'd like to insert these findings into a PowerPoint presentation, the software has a menu button for you to do that fairly easily. In fact, you don't need to type in the values you found in the deviations, you can simply pick them up and populate the PowerPoint page with that. Kubotech's validation tool is based on the company's feature recognition technology, part of its key creator direct modeling CAD package. Now, that doesn't work on models created in complex servicing programs like Rhino, for example, but the company says it supports nearly all major CAD formats. Try it out if you're interested. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, busy searching for validation.